In today's video, you're going to see what I read realistically in the week in the life of a D1 student athlete. Unfortunately, it is not another true vlog. I'm sorry. I am a student athlete, and which makes this very, very realistic because me trying to find time to read throughout this week and just reading after I come back home at like midnight, like shower, I'll be reading till like 3 a.m. But that is something you guys are going to see throughout this video. Iron Flames release is tonight at midnight. I actually got to reserve my own copy to pick up tonight. Tonight I have practice till 11, and if I am lucky, I'll get out. <laughs> before 11.30, but I'll be getting out around 11.30, so by the time I get to my Barnes & Noble, it'll almost be midnight and I'll be able to get my copy of Iron Flame. I waited to read this month because, well, I was busy with other things, and plus I really just wanted to get my reading in for this video and show you guys what reading week looks like for me realistically. So currently I'm reading The Prison Healer by Lynette Noni. I started last month-ish like the end like the literal end and i only got to page oh, wow hello i'm on page 82 chapter 9 so this is definitely on the radar and well iron flame is coming out tomorrow i want to read iron flame as soon as possible realistically reading this and finishing this before then is very very unlikely so this is like how many pages mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um we are 400 five pages or something like that i couldn't i couldn't even but then also also i picked up the Graham Effect by Kennedy, L. Kennedy, the day it came out. So there's just a lot of books I have to read. I've seen way too many TikToks. This is one specific scene when, oh, when we, if you guys have read this book or have seen TikToks, clips, edit of, what's her name, Gigi and Luke's. I don't even know the context of this. I just know that when he finds out that Garrett Graham is her dad, I'm just so excited. Like that scene. I'm so excited to see them again, and I'm, I just love Garrett and Wellesley. I love them so much. I get to read their kids' story, and I just, though, literally, why is it so thick? This is one of the gl old, like, glossy covers. Oh my god, I actually got off the deal. I didn't even mean to. What a coincidence. Literally, look at the difference. It's taller, but look at the difference in thickness, because that's literally so intimidating. How many page was, like, the deal in this cover, or this format? It's, like, three, 360. 360 pages. The, the matte cover version? Yeah, it's like around the same, like 370, 372. The grand fact, 500 pages, bless, bless my soul. Bless my soul, but I will in fact be eating this entire book up because 500 pages of Gigi and Luke and then also seeing cameos of Garrett and Hannah sign me up. If you guys have watched my reading wrap-up from October, I'm also continuing the series, The Heroes of Olympus. I started this book, but I literally, I barely got that far into it like i don't i don't even know i actually didn't even bookmark this so really i should just start over at this point we got another massive thick book how many pages are in this one because I, I swear to god these books just get thicker let's see we're already mm, okay okay <laughs> 572 boy literally how am i gonna get through these books because i just know iron flame about to be 500 plus pages too. Why am I doing this to myself? I'm already starting a little late. Well, not that late, but a couple days late into November to like actually start reading and grinding. Oh my God, literally so many books I have to read. Why there's so many books to read, but so little time. I'm looking at this week and I'm just so busy. I, <sighs> but I'm going to read. I just, how and when, I, I won't know. So definitely going to be a realistic reading week for me. I did, in fact, get my work done for like today, tomorrow, so I'm definitely gonna get some reading in. That's what I'm gonna be doing to kill my time before practice. Let's get to it. I changed to something more comfortable while I'm actually wearing what I have to wear practice underneath. I'm gonna start reading The Prison Healer, or continue it for that matter. Right now it's 4.20, I started a little bit late, but I had laundry to fold, so I have to leave by 5.30. Let's see. I'm gonna try to get to chapter 15, and that's to page 158 and i feel like it's like a safe place to get to i feel like that's doable let's start Oh. 
But what? That's crazy. Okay, update. It's 10.46. We actually got out of practice really early. We got out 40 minutes early. So we got out at 10.20. And so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be heading to Barnes pretty early because the midnight release party. I'm parked outside Barnes right now. There's a low key, like, hella people here. Like, there's people here. We're Miss Rebecca Yaros. I love that for her, to be honest. But I'm getting a little shy. I'm like here alone. Like, technically, this party started at nine or something. I think I'm just gonna walk in and see what happens. I'm just really tired because of practice was just really exhausting. It was just a long day. I came in early to stunt and then we're coming back tomorrow when I want to read the entire day and go to Target with my sister and see all the books there and get Starbucks. But this is the reality of being a D1 student athlete. You think you have time and then there's something. I want to read. Mm -mm -mm. Here we are. There's a low-key lot of people. I think they're just walking around. So I'm going to walk around because I don't want to go to Vart's. I don't walk around. But I have no money. No money! I want to get the book so bad. Oh my god. I can't wait to get Iron Flame. I can't wait to have it in my hands. Well, this hand because it's a bit jammed over here. So we're gonna do this, guys. This is gonna be fun. Hey, this is me hiding in the fantasy section. I guess I'm participating in this like scavenger hunt, but I have no idea where to begin. I'm supposed to be looking around for letters. I don't know how invested I am in this, but I do have a chance to win the holiday edition copy, so. Wow, that was honestly so fun. I was by myself, so it was like a little, a little lonely. But everyone there was just having a good time. So I had a good time. I was chatting up with some other people. We were talking about other series, books. As you saw, there was a literal person in a dragon suit, and it was, it was kind of funny. And I don't know if any of Barnes and Noble had people in a dragon suit, but I thought that was really fitting for the midnight release. We also got this little tote, this little goodie bag, and I haven't looked inside because apparently there are some things in here. So cute! <laughs> this is <laughs> this is embarrassing. Like I feel so embarrassed. I'm not even talking about the book yet, and I'm freaking out over the goodie bag. <laughs> the little bookmark. It's just a little fourth wing bookmark. Okay, we got a sticker. It says Dragon Rider. And then we have tattoos of just dragons. I don't know if I'll ever use them. They're not my vibe, but I think that's really cute. They did scavenger hunts and trivia and stuff. I didn't participate in it because one, that was a lot of brain power for this late in the day, in the night. I ended up getting the night shift. Actually, it's just called night shift. There's no the, there's just night shift by Annie Crown. Me and my best friend, Abby, literally, she actually introduced me to this story when it was on Wattpad. I love this book though. It's basically a little cute YA. Mm, it's a cute sports romance. It's basically about this book where, hmm, it's a romance between the basketball captain and this girl who works in the library. And I think, oh my God, I don't remember much from it. I read it like two years ago, but she works in the library and then the baseball, baseball? And then the basketball captain comes by at one time. It says it's a typical romance novel trope. So I can't wait to see their romance again. Just read it again because I just love a good sports romance. And the cover is so cute. I was so excited when I heard this was going to be published. My God, I'm so excited. And I remember like poems were their thing. Oh my God, I'm 
I'm so excited. Anyways, I'm not even talking about why I was actually at Barnes for, and it's Iron Flight. Here, here it is in all of its glory, and all of its $29.99 glory that I waited till Tuella one to purchase. It has black sprayed edges, which is very, whoa, looks very sick. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wait, I want to look at the actual cover. Oh, it's just black. Oh my God, I'm so excited to read this book. I'm gonna see, I'm seeing how many pages there are. Oh wait, no, nope, <laughs> we're not done yet, we're not done yet. Oh my God, oh my God. I don't think I've ever read a book this long before. 623 pages. I think the longest book I've ever read so far yet is Akamoff. No, 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 yes, Akamoff. And that's not even the thickest book in that series. This is going to be the thickest and longest book I have read yet. But I'm so, so excited. Oh my God, wait. This book is going to be like a four to five book series. Mr. Bricagaro, please, please, please. Oh my God, I'm so excited. It looks so pretty. It looks similar to the first cover with the little metallic, but it's basically kind of like a similar cover and art design as the first, which is nice. It will line up very nicely. So we're gonna put it in my, this is hurting me. It's like basically just out of commission right now, but I still have to use it because I am an athlete. So I gotta suck it up. Okay, this is just not working at all. I'm putting her right next to my cheer bag. I think this will be the end of this little segment for this vlog. I need to go home and shower. This is like my everything shower. So, I mean, it's already 12.23. I'm gonna get home by one. Shower and be in bed by 1.45 probably. I don't have classes tomorrow, but I do have to be on campus to stunt. Lord, it's not me, like actually. I'm going to probably read by myself tonight. Probably a little bit, probably for not that long because I am tired. And I'll update you guys on the next day. No, today's already Tuesday. I'll update you guys later if I have read anything or not. But I am so gonna be binging the prison healer so I can read Iron Flame. Oh, but wait, I said I wanted to read the Grand Effect. <laughs> oh my God, this is literally such a struggle. I literally don't have the time. This is as realistic as it gets, like actually. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. It is the next day. I actually did some reading last night before I went to bed because I literally stayed up till 3 a.m. while I sing my hands. So I thought I should just do some reading. I got to like chapter 17, so I'm like 45% in on the prison healer. But now I'm with my bestie for the resty, my hiking day one, my Please. four lifer. All yet to my marinette, Abby. <laughs> my kindred spirit. We are each other's kindred kindred spirit. I can't do my this okay. is taped right now. <laughs> we are at Barnes. I just got out of Sunting. I was supposed to be out two hours ago. It's now 4.20 basically. Got out really, really late. So we're here now. We're gonna go on a Starbucks run. We're gonna go on a book run because I was so bad and foul for getting the night shift without her last no, night. No, because the way I was <laughs> so I angry. That was literally like this <laughs> She bought the night shift without me. I had to see it in her B-reel that she was like night shift and a bunch of books. Literally text her, I have no excuse. Literally, no, it was a reader there was no impulse. Excuse. There was no excuse. literally no excuse. I'm making it up to her by taking her here. This is gonna be a chill day before I go to practice later because <clears throat> I don't ever have time to do anything. So we are here. The way I was literally just no. here like hours ago. Oh, there's fourth wing. We have Iron Flame over here, guys. Abby says she wants to find her herself, so we let her find her herself. I literally was not expecting, I was literally here last night looking through the section, and then somehow I just found it. <laughs> the wet pad of me is screaming. You're coming on with me. Now we're looking for Powerless by Lauren Roberts. Oh. I thought it would just be out on display. We will continue our search elsewhere. Oh, okay. One of my favorite sections. Mm. The fantasy. <laughs> Please. It should be like here. This is RO. We need B. It should be like literally right before it, but it's not. So look at the fire. Oh, wait. Wrong musical by Lin Manuel Miranda. <laughs> I am Alexander Hamilton. Let's reenact the duel. 10 paces forward, and then we turn on fire. But because the frame is so small, just do five small mm -hmm. steps forward. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> Woe is me. Oh. Woe is me. POV or Alexander <laughs> Hamilton. Woe is me. We are getting our drinks. Cute. Cheers. Cheers. Got the iced gingerbread oat milk chai. Got a peppermint mocha frat. Cheers. Cheers. One more time. Oh, wow. That was delicious. Wow. That is so Christmas. 
Ooh. Mm. That's really good too. Oh, feel that you don't have it. I'm gonna be really sad. Don't be sad. Powerless. Powerless. Yeah. I checked online. It said it was in store, but I just want to make sure. Oh, for... yeah, if you want to come with, you're more than welcome. I think she wants to come Let's... with. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, realistic be on the on the table here. They're probably still out back. Then we probably didn't have room for them. So hang out here. I'll be back. Okay. <gasps> That's, That's okay. okay. It's okay. Thanks. I'll be very happy when she comes out. Comes back. With, copy. with the book? Yes. Cause, let me tell you about this book, okay? Enemies okay. to Lovers. Okay. It's like Hunger Games, but the romance is so good. The banter is so good, Abby. Like, I'm telling you, <laughs> eat this up. Abby's not into romantic yet. She's still in the rom-com contemporary <laughs> romance phase. Tell her every time, when she gets into romantic, she's gonna eat that up and she's never gonna go back. As she we... can't, they can't do it like fantasy. You're gonna eat it up, spit it out, <laughs> eat it back up again. No, I'm so serious. And I got her the cool prints like a while ago. And that is the epitome of the best enemies to lovers in romance, fantasy. No, cause she bought me the book and then I just didn't read it. That's just on me because I've just, I mean like, look at my ship, that's so cutie. Yeah, she's in her cutie phase right now. She's in her haha -ha, cute, fluffy, cupcakes, rainbows, unicorns. <laughs> if I was a character from the Lego movie, I'd be the unicorn. It's like a kitty unicorn. Oh. And she like farts. I fart. Oh. Like right now? <laughs> no, 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 like the character, never mind. Sorry, I was making a joke. I was, I was making a joke. Oh, oh, oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah. Thank you so much. No oh my gosh. Ray. She That's a pretty so, cover. So pretty. Hey, ten percent off. Thank you. Yeah. Books we and some out. books are acquired. Yay! This is such another fun and successful Barnes trip. Hooray! Hooray! I'm back. I'm in my bed now. I have the prison healer. I have my little ice bath for my hand because it is still swollen. We are on chapter. 18, page 188. Nari's funny. <laughs> Why is she actually funny? I can't even. She goes, someone's been cooped up for too long. And Kiva says, it was unnecessary. I was perfectly fine yesterday. The guard's reply was dry. Yes, you were the picture of health when you got out of bed and fell flat on your face. Admit it, you just wanted Jaren's arms around you. <laughs> she like denies it and then she goes, I was there. He was very quick to catch you and very slow to release you. Dude, when did she get so funny? I love their friendship. Hey vlog, so update, it's the next day. Last night, I did get to my reading goal, which was 264, and now I'm at chapter 24. Oh, there's my bookmark. In half an hour, I'm leaving to go to a soccer game to volunteer for cheer. So that's why I'm repping UNH right now. I have these warm up pants on and I'm layered up actually. So I have leggings under those and I have like a long sleeve under this. We're supposed to get jackets cause it's gonna be freezing. Oh my God, I need to put my hair up. I just put on some makeup. Oh, I need to put red lipstick on too. I did also go to Target, got a hot pepper mocha because tis the season to be jolly and it's really cold out. And I also wanted to see the books they have there because apparently there was a buy two get one free this week for their books in Target, so. I was just perusing, even though I literally have no money, like, at all. I should have time to read tonight, and I want to. My goal is to hopefully finish The Prison Healer by tonight, if I really grinded, but also have an exam tomorrow, so. The vibes are just giving full center no set. It's also written, and I, so. <laughs> We don't know. I won't see you guys till when I come back. I just want to give a little update right now before we jump to literally later tonight. It's a lot later now. It's actually almost 11 o'clock. I've been sitting down here ever since I got home and I got home at an hour ago, I guess. I'm downstairs helping my sister. No, you're, or, <laughs> you're a little liar. I'm trying to help my <laughs> sister, okay? Now I'm like sitting at the table trying to help Seth while also just reading because it's getting late. I have an exam tomorrow morning. We are still on chapter 24, so we're gonna try. It's looking like I'm not finishing this book tonight. And that's really sad because the majority of this week was just me trying to read this book. I still have a lot to go. I have like over 100 pages left. I just wanna start another book. Not that I'm sick of this book, I just, the progress I've made this week is just not, not what I wanted for myself. Hmm, yeah, I, I knew that. I suspected that. I like the characters. I like Kiva, I love Jaren, I love their relationship. But right now, like I'm kind of 
bored of the plot. She's going through the trials, but it's so repetitive, and I'm just bored of it. Like, I don't know if it's just because it's taking me so long to read this book. It's just repetitive. It keeps going in circles. The trial, whatever she's doing as healer, a moment with Jaren, a moment with Nari, maybe Tip too, and then the trial again. Not that I'm not enjoying the book. I do like the book. It's just repetitive, and it's making me, I don't even know. And that's just how I feel about this book right now. It's 12.35. I have like this much left. There's like these like chapters or these parts where the pages are black. I want to get to after the black pages. That would bring me up to page 354. I'm on 316. Sleep is for the week, clearly, because I have to be up at like 7 a.m. But then that'll make me feel better to like finally finish this tomorrow night. And then finally start the gram effect. Sweetheart. I know. Oh my god. This chapter was cute. Well, actually, no. The ending was cute. Why is there so many pages in this one chapter? I'm gonna cry. These trials are supposed to be literally impossible, but these are just way too impossible. And the way she's only getting lucky with them is just so unrealistic. Oh my god, how do I explain this? She's only getting lucky because of like plot twists where we find out about other things. None of it is like of her own doing. I just want to talk about this one line. Nari tells Kiva, I thought he told you. I thought you knew. And I was just saying out loud how it reminds me of the line in Summer Trim Pretty Season 2 when Connor is like, I thought you knew. That beach scene, painful. This I, I saw this coming. I kind of guessed. But the line just reminded me of this in my turn pretty, so I just had to pop in again. This is where I sign off for tonight. Chapter 31 is literally 30 pages. So that's like 15 actual pages to flip through. And I don't have, I can't do it. I don't have anything within me to put myself through that long of a chapter. I'm not strong enough for that. It's basically 1 a.m. So I think that's a good enough time for me to stop reading and get some sleep so I can get mentally prepared for my day tomorrow or today. My exam and then just a long day of classes and then <laughs> practice. I am on now page 355 and I only have 50 pages left of this, so. Okay guys, it's the next day. Well, technically I, happy Thursday. I'm in the car, I'm about to go down, but before I go down, I want to update you guys because I have an exam in two hours-ish. So after that, I'm gonna celebrate by reading. Finally getting to read, because I think this exam is holding me back from enjoying reading, my reading time. All I'm thinking about is this god dang exam. I can barely hold my pencil. I'm literally gonna look like I'm sipping tea while we're holding my pencil while taking this exam, because it's written. Of course it has to be written. You're probably going to see Abby too, because we're always together. <clears throat> I feel my eyes like burning. I don't know if it's just from tiredness or I'm just crying because I don't want to take this test. I'll see you guys in a bit. We are in the BC. I'm waiting for my next class, and while I'm waiting, I'm gonna be finishing my book. So hopefully that happens because I have 50 pages left. Abby perspective again. I'm back to my room. I got the book. I'm just two besties. <laughs> just two besties who read. <laughs> I'm back again. It's, um, it's. Tw there is no way it's almost 1 a.m. right now. <laughs> I'm here with my little ice bath again for my hand. Because it's hurting a little extra right now. I actually got out of practice like 10 minutes early, like 10, 20, 20. Here I am. <laughs> God, if this isn't the most realistic reading week ever. Like, actually. But even then, I feel like I read a lot more than how much I've read already this week. Disappointingly enough, without trying to spill this ice bath, I haven't finished the prison healer. I still got... One, two, three, four. Four pages to turn, to read. And it's taken me so, this entire day to get through this one chapter. And it's painful. I just want to be done with this book. I want to make more progress in my reading because I've only read one book in the first week and a half of November. Like, that's kind of bad for me. Anyways, I'm going to be reading now. <laughs> Hopefully when I get back to you guys, I'll be done. I'm gonna make that my goal even though it's 1 a.m. And literally even though I'm gonna be up hours later because even though I have no classes tomorrow, like I guess I'm going hiking. Mm. I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm at a really intense part right now and I'm like crying. <sighs> what? What's happening? I'm so like in the moment that I'm like just crying because everything's just so crazy right now. Everything's happening all at once. Don't do this to me. I'm trying to get this tear to fall. 
Am I just emotional? Am I too emotional? Dang, it's just like insane. Why is everything happening at the very end of this book right now? What? Oh, no, you did not just... <laughs> I'm so... Oh, my God. Oh, my... This book was not real. Are you actually serious right now? I... How can I not read the second book right after? Oh, my... How can I read another book... After the cliffhanger, after the plot twist. Oh, you got me so good, bro. I need to sit with this because I am so shook right now. I just can't believe I just read that ending of The Prison Healer. And the more I think about it, the more I will just be sitting here like, so there's only one way to go about this feeling because I don't have the second book and it's to just move on to the next in which my palette cleanser will be the grip effect. I need to immediately start reading this or else I won't be able to get out of this fantasy mood. The fantasy like vibe is so strong right now that I physically, I just need to start. I just need to pick up this book and I need to open it and read it. Here we go. The prologue is literally called, is he famous or something? Oh my God, I can't. Oh my God, I'm so excited, I can't. This interaction is just everything. She is just a meeting writer. <laughs> I love the prom queen and prom king like nicknames already. This is just great. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Yikes. Oh, I love their banter. Oh my. It's raps. It's so raps right now. I can't do it. <laughs> She's funny. She's so funny. Ever consider asking my name then? Fine. What's your name? None of your business. <laughs> Now I'm literally making fun of her name being Gigi when Garrett Graham named her after him. If you know, you know. Dude, I can't. This is the prologue. I'm on page six and I'm already eating it up. I am not gonna survive this book. I'm so serious. Better skedaddle Giselle before you piss off Garrett Graham. Garrett who? You don't know who Garrett Graham is? Is he famous or something? He's hockey royalty. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. Gigi, are you trying to break your ankle out there? <laughs> Sorry, Dad. I was just messing around. Dad, you're Garrett Graham's kid. <laughs> I can't do this. this is where I need to stop, okay? This is where I stop. You've reached the limit of which I'm freaking out over words on paper. Okay, so see you later. I have a haul for you guys from Target. The first book that I got from Target was about a song, Birds and Snakes, in honor of the movie coming out next week. Next, I got Twisted Hate by Anna Huang because I really do want to finish a series. I just need this book and then Twisted Lies. And then this is a series that I don't know why. I've just been hearing a lot of booktubers, influencers, and just TikTok raving about the series. If you are a Sarah J Moss fan, Moss Mass, then you are definitely gonna know what I'm talking about and that is the Assassin's Blade. I have not finished the Akatar series. And usually people say you should finish or you should read the Akatar series first before going into her other books. I couldn't help myself. I've been hearing so much about this series that I just really want to be invested in it and really want to love like this universe and I want to love Sarah J Moss even more. I'm on the third book for the Akatar series, but I've been also meaning to get back into that series too because I really just miss them. I miss them. I want to just get back into Sarah J Moss and all of her books and I want to be a total stan. It's been so long. I've been out of touch with her writing and her stories and her characters and their worlds. This is definitely on my, my radar. So yay, I'm excited. I got the Assassin's Blade. I'm so excited to start the series. We've got three more books added to the amount of books I bought this week in this one vlog. Like that's kind of a crazy that's kind of crazy. I bought so many books this week. That's crazy. But now, now that I'm home, I get to continue with the Grim Effect. I'm like about halfway, so. Oh my gosh, I am giggling, bro. Like, it's not even that deep, bro. Chill.
Oh my god, that is literally so crazy, dude. You know how I have been eating up every reference to any other characters from like the other series? They just brought they just they just brought up Sabrina and Tucker's kid. <laughs> like tell me why I am so excited. Oh, how can you bring her up? Well, actually I can't say and not write a book for her. She hasn't quite done that yet. So, or maybe I don't I don't know, but I'm just so excited because literally <laughs> Hey, someone asked Gigi what her cousin's name is because they're like trying to figure stuff out for this auction And she's like, oh, yeah, I can ask my cousin. Someone asked her who her, who her cousin is. She says Alex Alexandra Tucker, um, the supermodel, you know, totally not a big deal. Oh my god, their kid is a supermodel Like everything's like full circle Every everyone you can possibly think of I could cry. I could cry It is actually 2 30 a.m. And I cannot stop reading this book because this is like Garrett and Hannah talking. They brought this up earlier in the book on how Garrett still calls Hannah Wellesley like the nickname. And he actually says it in the book to her in conversation. I'm gonna cry. I'm actually gonna reread their book. I do that every year. I've been doing it every year since I read the book. I'm definitely gonna reread the deal because I miss them. After I finish this chapter, I'll be on page 411, so that means I have less than 100 pages left. So I'm definitely gonna finish this tomorrow. Later. Okay, hey guys, so this is Monday now. It is the next week, and I think this is a fine time to wrap this up. And to also update, I did in fact finish The Gram Effect, and oh my god, it was so good. And I wanna talk a little bit about it while I'm still here and just wrapping this video up. So I ultimately gave this a 4... a 4.25. I honestly think it's a 4.25 just because it just felt so full circle. So nostalgic. I love the character cameos, all the references, the mentions. I love seeing like their kids being mentioned in this and even like actually in the book and being involved in like the story. I thought it was just so... I just missed them. I'm looking at my looking at my Briar U and Off Campus series right over here. So I have yet to read Hunter and the other guy's book. So in Legacy, but mm -hmm. I loved that he I love the daisies, I love the flower giving, and I love the little excuses of it's like national something something day just to just for an excuse to give her flowers. Oh my god, I thought that was so cute. And there's just so many little lines that he says, I want to be her hero. You fall, pick you up. Oh my god. I don't know if I've already mentioned this, but I love Hannah and Ryder's interactions. I love the mother figure she is for him and so cute. And I Oh my god, I ate this up, bro. Oh my god. Oh, also, it's really interesting and funny, ironic, actually, because I'm a cheerleader for UNH. I cheer for UNH. The school itself is in, like, Mass, the Mass area, near Boston, near Hastings, whatever. They bring up just, like, surrounding schools, like Harvard, and a character that I'm pretty sure is gonna be the next book, Diana. She's a cheerleader on the team, and I was like, oh, it's so funny that they, they're mentioning the cheer team and her as a cheerleader because she's she's Gigi's friend. It's just so funny to like see them talk about cheer a little bit, even though it's more like hockey sports ro or focus, hockey sports focus. I think it's going to be really interesting to see how Elle Kennedy writes cheer for the next book because it's definitely going to be her book next because it's called The Dixon Rule and her last name is Dixon. There's a little bit of something going on with Shane, another character, but... She kind of has a vendetta against him a little bit because he's always involved with the cheer team, always trying to, they try to win nationals, she says. And I'm like, oh, UNH actually won nationals at Daytona last year, last season. So I just thought it was funny because I cheer for them this year. So it's very, <laughs> it's, just, it's just funny. It's also a hockey romance, but she's also a cheerleader. So I'm really hoping that it's nothing cringy or cliche or stereotypical. She brought some things up, like, like Top Girl, which is pretty technical, pretty within the terms of collegiate cheer. And they brought up nationals. I don't know how else they're gonna, I don't know how else she's gonna be talking about cheer in this. So that's all I got to say about that and how it relates to like me, IRL, because D wants to do an athlete cheerleader. So very excited. I'm very excited. On that note, I did in fact start Iron Flame. I got to a hundred, a little bit over a hundred chapters in. hundred chapters? Are you serious? hundred pages in because I can't not like just start a book the next day. Like I have to like read a bit into the next book or I won't be like motivated. There are 600 pages. I'm hoping for a hundred per day so I can at least finish it no more than six days. To actually conclude and summarize this week's video, I got to read two books. I got to read 
the prison healer and the grab effect i was a little bit bummed that it took me so long to get through this book i literally finished it like thursday night and it took me the entire week to do it but then yet again there was so much i had going on that week and of course i read the grim effect in which i just talked about so these are the two books i read this week this is what i realistically read in a week which honestly, I should give myself more credit because the grand effect was literally like 500 pages. This is like the equivalent of two books. So considering I started reading, like actually reading five days into November, two books in which one of them was super thick is a pretty good start. We're approaching the happy point through November though, because it is also, it is November 13th. So trying to get to at least 10 books is gonna be a little bit of a challenge considering that i'm literally practicing every single day but thank you guys so much for watching today's video i know it wasn't another true video but considering the amount of attention unexpected attention that i kind of low-key got from the reading wrap-up i was also in the mood to record more content for this type this era that i'm in hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one hopefully i get a cheer vlog up because enough said i just want to read more books and i want to take you guys with me as i read these books because there's so many of them but i just have very little time all the time hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one